to study the shift in equilibrium between Fe3 positive ions and SCN negative ions by increasing and decreasing the concentrations of either of the ions. Lee Chatelier's principle states that when a change is made to a system that is already in equilibrium, the system reacts in such a way as to return to equilibrium. For a chemical reaction system, when the system reacts so as to return to equilibrium, this means that the system will either react in the forward direction so as to produce additional product or in the reverse direction so as to consume some of the product. Ma'am, how can we study the shift in equilibrium between Fe3 positive ions and SCN negative ions by increasing and decreasing the concentrations of either of the ions? At equilibrium, the concentrations of reactants and products do not change with respect to each other. If a system at equilibrium is subjected to any change in concentration of ions, read it just to nullify the change in accordance to Lee Chatelier's principle. Fe3 positive aqueous plus SCN negative aqueous gives Fe SCN 2 positive aqueous blood red color. Therefore, K is equal to Fe SCN 2 positive divided by Fe3 positive SCN negative. Let's do an experiment to study the shift in equilibrium between Fe3 positive ions and SCN negative ions by increasing and decreasing the concentrations of either of the ions. Our aim here is to study the shift in equilibrium between Fe3 positive ions and SCN negative ions by increasing and decreasing the concentrations of either of the ions. The materials required are test tubes, boiling tubes, beaker, test tube stand, glass rod, FeCl3 solution, sodium thiocyanate solution. Procedure Prepare 25 ml solutions each of ferric chloride and sodium thiocyanate separately. Mix the two solutions in one test tube. A deep red colored solution is obtained due to formation of ferric thiocyanate ions. Take 1 ml of blood red colored solution and add 50 ml of distilled water to it. Now take 5 test tubes and mark them as A, B, C, D, E. To each test tube add 5 ml each of FeCl3 solution, NaSCN solution. On adding either of the ions, note the change in color and shift of equilibrium. Observations Test tube Amount of NaSCN added Amount of FeCl3 added Effect on color Effect on FeSCN2 positive ions concentration Direction of the shift of equilibrium Result On addition of Fe3 positive ions to SCN negative ions Equilibrium shift in forward direction and the color darkens. Precaution The concentration of FeCl3 and NaSCN should be accurate. The color of solution should be seen from the side of test tubes. The color should be seen in diffused sunlight. Comparison must be done keeping the solutions side by side. Graduated droppers must be used for adding solutions. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.